Hello everyone, my name is Simon and I would like to welcome you to today's webinar brought to you by the University of Helsinki titled Study Economics at the University of Helsinki in Finland. And during today's webinar, you will learn more about the university in general. It's the oldest and largest university in Finland and it has repeatedly been ranked among world's top, top universities. You will learn more about the Economics Master's Program and why you should choose the university as your study destination and of course, the much needed information on how to apply. And without further ado, it is time to send my greetings to Finland. And firstly, I would like to introduce Jani Loto, who is the assistant professor and will be helping us out in the Q&A. Hello everyone, and thank you Simon for the introduction. My role today is, is to answer your questions, so we will <coughs> discuss later. Jani, thank you very much. It's a pleasure having you in. And next off, I would like to introduce Maria Lisa Halko, who is the university researcher. Welcome, Maria Lisa. Thank you, Simon, for introduction. And I will speak about the, our program more in detail quite soon. Thank you very much to you as well, Maria Lisa. And last but not least, it is time to meet Jessica Mutter, who is the admissions advisor. Welcome, Jessica. Thank you and hello. Uh, I'll be sharing the admissions process info in the presentation. Guys, it's a pleasure having all three of you in, and I know for a fact that the audience would prefer to hear more from you. So without further ado, it is time to give the floor to Maria Lisa, who will now talk more about the program itself. And the floor is all yours. Thank you. Okay, uh, maybe this is your image of Finland. It is a cold place somewhere in the north. They have Santa Claus and sauna. But what else do we have? Okay. We speak about our master's program in economics today, and I will first say something shortly about Finland and about University of Helsinki, and then about economics at the University of Helsinki. And then we go to the master's program, its objectives and the structure, and last I will tell something about selection criteria. And then Jessica will tell you more about application process. Okay. Oh, first you. We have more. We have also very beautiful nature. It's not always cold here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, according to many measures, Finland has the best education system in the world. In the latest ranking conducted by the World Economic Forum. Finland was again ranked number one in the world. We have the best school system in the world. Finland also leads in other rankings like government transparency, stability, happiness, and notably, we also have the most heavy metal bands per capita. We have 54 bands per 100,000 inhabitants. So if you are interested in metal music, come here. Also, Helsinki has done very well in various rankings. I found two. According to Monocle magazine, Helsinki is the most livable city in the world. And according to Reader's Digest, Helsinki is the most honest, honest city in the world. And we have a lot of international students, not only at the University of Helsinki, but also at other, other universities that are located nearby. This is the picture of the city center. <clears throat> okay, about, uh, about the university. The University of Helsinki is the best ranked university in Finland. It is ranked among the top 100 in the world and among the top, two, top 20 in Europe. The university has 35 degree students and a little bit more than 2,000 of them are international students with almost 800 employees and students complete a little bit more than 6,000 degrees per year. And more interestingly, we have uh, 11 faculties and economics is part of the Faculty of Social Sciences. And the uh, Faculty of Social Sciences and Economics is located in the city center. And a lot of our, our, our courses are now, nowadays 
lectures in English, so you will have a lot of possibilities in study to study in English in Helsinki. Okay. This is the economic headquarters in Helsinki, Economicum building. And not only the economists of the University of Helsinki are, are working here, but also three different units. We have the, uh, the faculty, we have the Department of Economics of the Aalto's University School of Business, and then we have the Department of Economics of the Hanke School of Economics. So three different economics departments are located in, located in the same building. And in, that, in addition, the Government Institute of, of Economic Research is located in the same building. So there are more than 100 academic researchers working there. And it's, it's a great advantage for the students because, <coughs> because the, three, the, the different units, we organize seminars together and, and some of the courses are also organized together. Some of the teaching is organized together or students have, can take courses from the different, from the different units. Okay, what about the master's program? It is a two-year two program, and of course it prepares the student for a career as an economist in different, to work in different, uh, different places of the studies, in, in business, in financial markets, and in the public sector, or even at the university if you plan to do PhD after, after your master's studies. The program has two tracks, research track and general track. The general track, oh, you guess what it is by, by, by the name, but it's designed for the students who have broad interest in economics. And the research track is for you if you plan to do PhD. And, and it is more demanding, so, so you should really have, uh, you should really be sure that PhD is your goal if you choose the research track. But degree requirements in both tracks uh, correspond to international standards, meaning that if you want to continue your studies somewhere else after your master's degree, or if you want to find employment somewhere else than in Finland, your degree will be suitable also for, for those purposes. Okay, objectives. Uh, what economists need after after uh, after studies? Okay, we expect that you will have good knowledge of economic theory. I guess that m most of you have already studied economics, and after master's student studies, you will have even better knowledge of economic theory, and you will be. Uh, familiar with scientific economic literature. Okay, and then we expect that you will have ability to apply what you have learned, so you will have ability to apply economic theory to solve different real world problems and also interpret the, the different economic uh, phenomena. And also the objective is that you will be familiar with econometric methods and you will be able to apply them in, in practical research problems. And you should, after your studies, you should be able to collect and interpret different data. And you, you should also, it's very important for economists to be able to speak about uh, economy, economy, and we expect that you will have, you will be very fluent in communicating different economic issues after your studies. Okay. So to, about the program structure. General track, it has, uh, it includes advanced studies, the basic courses in economic theory, micro and macro, economics and econometrics, they, they are together 30 
study points, and then you have different field courses. And here, the, the advantage of the different units located in the same building will, will be very great because you can take different field courses organized by different uh, economic departments. Uh, what about what can I say about this general track? If you compare it with the field, with the research track, you will notice that okay, in the research track there is more weight on econo economic theory and economic methods, 45 study points. When you if you compare it with a general track, it is only 30 study points. So there is, in research track, there is more weight on, on theory and methods and less weight on field courses in economics and also in op optional studies. Okay, I forgot to say that this optional studies includes, it's, you can take other courses, not, not other courses than economics courses. You can take courses from whatever. And in the research track, as I said, there is less, less, uh, you can take, there's less weight on optional courses than in general track. Okay, so uh, to whom? Who can apply? So you should have, if you apply, you should have appropriate bachelor's degree. And what it means, it means that you should have at least 35 study points in economics. And it include it, in, it has to include intermediate level courses in micro and macroeconomics and econometrics. And then you should also have studies, studied mathematics and statistics. Well, it's a little bit uh, loose, but to the extent that you will be able to do the master level courses in, in economics. <clears throat> And you, you can see that the weight put on the pur purple numbers, purple text tells you how much weight you will, will be put on, on your bachelor's degree and suitability of your bachelor's degree, maximum 10 points. And then another criteria is that how well did you do in your previous studies? You can also get maximum 10 points of that. And then you should have a motivation letter. And this motivation letter is especially important if you plan to apply to the research track. So in, in the motivation letter, you have to explain, especially explain why, why do you want to choose the research track. Uh, but, but you have to write the motivation letter also if you apply to the general track. And then lastly, you should write a short essay uh, for example, about your bachelor's thesis, so they say, or an abstract of of your bachelor's thesis. And both of this motivation letter and, and the short essay, they are maximum 2,000 characters, so it means that not very, not very long, long letters or abstract. And these two things, they have less weight, they have, you can get ma maximum four points from the motivation letter and from the short essay you can get maximum two points. Okay, this is shortly how the, shortly about the, about our program and now Jessica will tell you about the application process. Maria Lisa, thank you very much. Before we actually hear more from uh, Jessica, I know that you guys have prepared a video for the audience to enjoy. Uh, just allow me to navigate to the video as to how to apply. Uh, just before I actually play it, I would like to let the audience know that you can uh, set your volume levels uh, locally. So enjoy the video and we'll be back with Jessica in two minutes and 17 seconds.
I, for one, uh, really enjoyed that period. And now Jessica will be filling in uh, any potential gaps regarding the admissions process. And uh, Jessica, the floor is all yours. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I love that video. It's so good. Okay, so the basic application application requirements are that you have to have a bachelor's degree and it has to be appropriate, so either from the same or related field as you are applying to. Um, then you need to prove your English English proficiency and also remember to check the country-specific requirements for the application documents from our website, helsinki.fi. The application period starts already next week, so the 1st of December, and it ends on the January 12th. The results will be available in April, for the, and the studies will begin in autumn 2017. Okay, so um, the tuition fees range from 13,000 to 18,000, and for this economics program, it's 18,000 per year. Um, and citizens of non-EU or EEA countries who do not have a permanent residence status in the area are, li are li liable to these fees. Um, for the scholarship program, there are four categories. So either uh, the scholarship will cover tuition fee and the living costs, or the living costs, or um, either the living costs or the tuition fee, or then half of the tuition fees. And you can also find more information about those on our website, Helsinki.fi. Uh, and applications for scholarships will open also next week, so you apply for the scholarship at the same time that you apply for the program itself. Yes, that's all now. Jessica, thank you very much for your participation as well. And we have come to the part where our esteemed audience members can submit their questions through the Q&A panel, now that we are out of full screen, for the ones that actually join us a bit later, you can find the Q&A to the right of the platform, expand it, and we would like you to submit your questions in writing through that panel. And then uh, Maria, Lisa, Jessica, and Yanni will be answering them verbally. So if there's any information that was uh, that is still left unclear, feel free to submit your questions through the Q&A panel. Uh, and perhaps uh, seeing that we don't have a question submitted yet, uh, perhaps I can help uh, today's audience members with a question of my own, if you guys wouldn't mind, which would be uh, regarding the intensity of the program. Uh, perhaps, uh, Maria Lisa, this would be a question for you. How advisable, if even, uh, it would be to have a job while studying? As far as I understand, this is a full-time program. Is this something that you would advise or disadvise? Uh, certainly disadvise. It's a two-year program, and and the courses in economics are quite demanding, so I think it is not a good idea to have a job during the studies. Thank you very much. Uh, and also waiting for the first questions to roll in, we have two questions for you, our audience members. So I just opened a poll with the first question being if you would like to get more information on some aspect of the program, and we would also like to know if some of you are already considering applying. Thank you very much for your feedback. Uh, the poll has no time limit, so take your time to, to submit uh, your feedback through the poll. Or even better, submit your questions through the Q&A panel. You can also use the chat panel if there is something easier uh, on your end to find. So the Q&A should be to the right of the platform. Um, and then um, we have an option of uh, students submitting their questions offline if they, for instance, can't join. And I saw the list, and more or less we have questions regarding scholarships if you could further elaborate, what kind of scholarships are available? Okay, so there are those four categories that I briefly mentioned. Um, there is a scholarship that covers the tuition fee and the living costs, or then there's a scholarship for the living costs only, or for the tuition fee only, or then the fourth category is half of the tuition fee. Thank you very much. I see uh, Armin asked uh, Maria Lisa, Armin, would you be so kind as to submit your question through the Q&A, uh, not sending it privately, so that all of us on the panel can see it? And while we wait for his question to be submitted in the Q&A, we have the first one from Kirill. If you could tell more about uh, work opportunities after the master's degree, sort of what are the career prospects, I'm guessing. Was it for me? Uh, I believe it's either for you, Maria Lisa, or perhaps uh, for Yanni. Perhaps yeah, both I can, can elaborate. Yeah, I can take the second one. Or so. 
carry up. Okay, so so in Finland at least we have Central Bank of Finland, one one place where 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 a lot of our students are going after finishing their masters and 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 treasury department is one in Finland and what else banks there are of course several banks or of course internationally and 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 so on so so all opportunities are open I don't know what else to say can you I guess the more do you hear me yes I guess the most the typical employees are, are banks and, and different research institutes and and the central bank as Yanni said and some our students work also in the private private sector in, in different companies. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Maria Lisa, I don't see uh, the question submitted from Armin. Uh, perhaps could you check in the Q&A panel if uh, okay. you can see it because I don't have the privilege of seeing it if he sent it privately to you. What uh, is our bachelor degrees in other fields? What petroleum engineering? Okay. So Armin asked that what if if the bachelor degree is in other fields? Um, you, okay, you can have your bachelor degree in other fields, but the requirement is that you have studied economics before. So you need to have at least 35 study points in economics. So it doesn't matter if you don't have a bachelor degree in, in economics, but you should have studied economics also before applying the, to the master's, master's program. Thank you very much, Maria. So, but in engineering is in general is is good because I guess you have a good uh, you have studied mathematics and statistics maybe, but then you need uh, also economics. Maria Lisa, thank you very much for the help in finding the question. But uh, this is a call to action to our audience members. As you can see, today's presenters are at your disposal. Feel free to submit more questions through the Q and A. Maria Lisa or uh, Yanni or uh, Jessica, was there a question perhaps privately submitted to you? Mm, I haven't seen yet, but I can check. You would be so kind. Mm. And uh, while you check, uh, Jessica, mm -hmm. I might have a question of my own, okay. which would be um, sort of uh, what are their chances of finding a job after graduating uh, without any knowledge of the Finnish language? Can they make do with English, or should they learn at least the basics of the Finnish language? Uh, I'm not actually sure if I'm the right person to answer that. Um, perhaps Maria Lisa or Yanni, do you have any idea? Uh, it, it depends on where you are applying mm -hmm. after you have finished your masters, but but I, I think nowadays there are a lot of places where you know you don't have to speak Finnish at, at least in the beginning, but but but. I'm pretty sure that, but let's say after three, four years, they they start asking, can can you already speak some or or, or so on? But 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 all the time the requirements are 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 show that that English is is more and more the language in the firms. So so it's good to learn Finnish, but but not necessary, I would say. Yanni, thank you very much. Allow me to check on the progress of the poll while we wait for the next question to be submitted. Uh -huh, I see that some of you have finished it. Thank you very much for doing so. To the one that is currently in progress, uh, please make sure that you do click on the submit button within that panel in order to make your uh, answers final, otherwise your effort will be lost. And to the few that haven't started it yet, you can find the poll within the polling panel, should be beneath Q&A and beneath chat. Uh, we really would appreciate uh, you uh, partaking in the poll. Uh, let's see if there's anything new through the Q&A. Uh, well, then allow me to pose a question uh, of my own. So uh, I saw that with the list of the registrants, a lot of international students are interested in this program. And the question here would be uh, regarding housing. Does the University of Helsinki 
for help them find or actually perhaps even provides housing for any potential international students coming in? I'm not actually 100% sure, but I think that we at least help them finding it. But if we mm -hmm. can like guarantee it or not, I'm not sure. Thank you, Jessica. Uh, and then I'm guessing Steve joined us a bit later. Uh, Jessica, if you wouldn't mind uh, doing a quick recap, we would like to know if there are any scholarships or any other sponsorships available. Yes, there are scholarships available in four categories. There's the scholarship that covers the tuition fee and the living costs, or then the scholarship that covers only the living costs or only the um, tuition fee, or then half of the tuition fee. And I actually found some more information about the um, amounts that are being given out. So for the um, biggest scholarship that covers the tuition fee and the living costs, they go out to two persons. So number of, of scholarships available is two, around two. Uh, and then the other one, tuition fee covering is eight. Um, and then half of the tuition fee and the living cost grant are about for 10 persons each. Good news for any potential student. Thank you very much, Jessica. And this in from Vyacheslav saying if he's in the last year of his bachelor program and hasn't done his thesis yet, uh, what would he have to write in the short essay part for the application? That's a good question. Hmm. What about some kind of research plan or? Yeah, because it, it's about um, the master thesis or about something else. But what is that something else? Let's I think a it. plan would be a good idea. What else you can do if you don't have anything else? So, so just write a plan, research plan. Yeah. Well, yes. It only says here that that it's about um, essay about your bachelor's thesis or something, something, something else. You. Some other kind, other thesis you have done. If you have not yet done yeah. it, then I don't know. Then a good plan is yeah. a very good, you know. Yeah. It's that at least it tells us something yeah. about your ability to. Yes, and if you are actually, if you are now doing your bachelor, bachelor, yeah, so, so maybe last year, yeah. Yeah, so maybe you already have some kind of idea what you are going to do in your thesis. So, as Yanni said, that a good idea would be to. La to write what is your plan, plan, what is your thesis plan. Maria Lisa and Yanni, thank you very much for helping Gatislaw out. And uh, for our audience members, we are still in the Q&A. As you can see, uh, Maria Lisa, Yanni, and Jessica are at your disposal. And Kirill took advantage of this Q&A session, uh, asking at what stage of application uh, would they need to visit Helsinki? Uh, you don't need to come here at all. No, there aren't like any exams in here that you need to do. Thank you, Jessica. And then Ahmed's question just in, let's see. Uh, he studied business administration and accounting, if, I be, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in modern academy in Egypt. <coughs> However, he has worked as a financial analyst for the past seven years uh, as an economic reporter in many local Middle East websites, mainly for fundamental analysis. Could he apply for any uh, scholarships? Um, many questions concerning the scholarships are actually still open, so I cannot answer that yet. But I would advise to um, visit our website and the section of the scholarships because all the information will be there available as um, just by the time that the application period starts. Thank you very much. Actually, our audience members, uh, either after they uh, uh, exit the session or after we finish it, will be redirected to this uh, web page that are currently pasted through the chat panel to all of the attendees. And you can also find more information already if you wish to do so. But uh, yet again, we are now in the Q&A part where you guys can submit your questions. Feel free to ask Maria Lisa, Yanni, or Jessica, whatever you would like to <coughs> about studying. 
otherwise we will be wrapping up the session uh, but I would like to give you guys uh, some more time if some of you are in the process I believe that the Q&A is a great opportunity being an interactive session to get immediate responses as you've just seen so just allow me to check if there's something in the chat no it doesn't seem seems as though as all of the necessary information has been shared um, is there perhaps uh, anything uh, you would like to add? Uh, is there perhaps something that was missing, Yanni, Maria, Lisa, or Jessica? Well, I can just say that if you have any questions later on, maybe, that you can send us email to the address admissions at helsinki.fi, or then, of course, check our website first. If you find the information you're looking for from there, it's helsinki.fi, and there under Master Studies, if you see, uh, find your answer there first. Okay, and also I, I, I would also like to you know, like you to note that there is a website of the, our master's program, so you can find there more information about the program and more in, information, for example, about international mobility and this kind of <coughs> details of the program. It is also a little bit under construction, so the information will be more it will be more in detail as soon as possible. Thank you, Jessica and Maria Lisa. And it seems it is then time to wrap up the session. Allow me to thank the audience members firstly for uh, participating, for attending today's webinar. And I'm sure that you guys did get the necessary information for studying the economics masters at the University of Helsinki. Moreover, uh, we sure hope that some of you are already considering in applying. So thank you very much. And of course, a special thank you to Maria Lisa, to Yanni, and to Jessica for sharing your expertise, for taking your time uh, to present in the webinar. Uh, perhaps any last minute closing comments before we say goodbye? Thank you for the audience, and hope we, we hope to see many applications, of course. Yeah, thank you for all. Thank you. And thank you for Simon, for you also, Simon, to Maria Lisa, it was, a, it was a pleasure. So thank you once again uh, to all of today's participants for joining, for presenting. And this is Simon wishing you perhaps a good morning, good afternoon, or a good evening from wherever you may be. Thank you for joining and goodbye. <laughs>